Hey everyone, thank you so, so, so much for clicking on this review. The fact that you are willing to sacrifice a few minutes out of your day to check out my content really does mean the world to me. Today we're going to be reviewing Only Murders in the Building, Season 2, which is coming out on Hulu and then Disney Plus South Africa. So guys, this was a direct sequel or follow-on from Season 1. And what I mean by that is it literally takes place a few seconds after season one concludes. So if you are hoping that this is a show that really you know just carries on with the momentum of season one, then you are correct. This really doesn't let up. Um, I'm not gonna give anything away in regards to, to story spoilers or anything like that, other than the fact that you can be guaranteed that this season definitely matches the quality of season one. Everything that you love about season one is still present here in season two, witty writing, great performances across the board, and ultimately these are just charismatic characters that if you fall in love with them with season one, you just get to spend more time with them, you get to go on these adventures with them, and actually just learn more about them as well as the building that all of these murders are taking place in. Selena Gomez, Martin Short, Steve Martin, these were, they just have such great chemistry together, and their dynamic just works. They have such good charisma together, they really just get along, you feel that they are truly friends. And you, you, this season acts as a progression to their relationship. Uh, not just a progression to their relationship, but a progression to the way they view their podcast and how they're going to move on with their lives. Talking about the podcast, the podcast allows for this season to feel incredibly meta with how they go about it. And what I mean by that is there's a few jokes where they go, well, this didn't happen last season. And of course, you know, for us, that means season one of the show. But for them, it means season one of the podcast. Or they go like, flip, if only we had done this in season one, this would have been so much easier. And it's like, ah, I see what you did there. So in many ways, some people might say it's just lazy writing for the, for the writers to poke jokes at themselves. But for me, they did it in such a natural way that even though it's incredibly meta for us, it makes sense in universe for them to say things like that. And I enjoy when shows, you know, allow themselves to, you know, poke fun at themselves when they can break the fourth wall without actually breaking anything. Because in universe, they're not doing anything wrong. And then something I really enjoyed about this season was a focus on family. Family was a massive theme throughout this season. And we allow ourselves to really learn more about these characters and delve into what makes them work, what makes them tick, and ultimately what their motivating factors are. We get to see this relationship between fathers and sons and sons and fathers, especially when it comes to Oliver and Charles. We get to see how their relationships with their sons impact them now and how their relationships with their fathers impacted them when they were younger and turned them into the men that they are today. So I guess it's also, you know, part of, you know, leaving a legacy. That's also something that, that is quite prevalent in the season or prevalent. That's a word I always screw up. Prevalent or prevalent. It's prevalent. But that is very prevalent in the season as well. Because even though we focus on two older men, we also get Selena Gomez's character, Mabel, who was someone that's still creating a legacy for herself. And she's, you know, becoming this internet celebrity that everyone absolutely loves. And it's about her coming to terms with that as well. But at the end of the day, the show is about solving murders. It's a crime scene, you know, investigation, a CSI, it's a crime scene investigation show. Um, and it does it in a very unique way. It's done the exact same way as season one. It's incredibly fresh in the way it solves these murders. It, it doesn't have to rely on tropes like NCIS or CSI, where, you know, they can take all of their, you know, evidence back to the lab and they have these high-tech labs that can just, you know, break down all of the evidence. These are just three people who are passionate about true crime and have a podcast and use what they have accessible to them to try to solve these crimes. And that's an element that I really, really enjoy, is that you get these characters who are just chasing their passions, and their passions just happen to be murder, and it just happens to keep happening around them. But yes, guys, on that note, if you haven't yet, actually check out my podcast, The Weekly Fundamentals. We're currently on a season break, but you can follow us on Instagram. But then I'd also just like to say thank you so much for watching this review. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet. Season 2 was amazing, and I hope to see you again in another review.